Hello, welcome back. Uh, thanks very much for joining me today. As you can see, I'm not in a polytunnel in the garden or down the allotment today. Unfortunately, it's been really bad weather all day and it's absolutely freezing outside. So yeah, I've not stepped foot in the garden today. But um, last week I did a video talking about the Heritage Seed Library and showed you some seeds that they had sent me to grow next year from their seed list. And quite a few of you said you were members or um, some of you even said that that was quite interesting and you were gonna go and sign up. So on Saturday morning, the 2021 seed list hit the doormats and um, I was quite excited to have a look through it. And I have decided which seeds I'm growing this year or which seeds I'm gonna be ordering and I've put the order in. So I thought I would show you what this year's seed list looks like and what, what my choices uh, for my orders are um, because it's just really exciting. So firstly, um, this year there is 18 new varieties uh, for 2021. There's 64 certified organic varieties within here and there all together is 149 varieties to choose from. So if you don't know, with a seed library, they um, don't sell seeds to you. You can become a member of the seed library and once a year with the Heritage Seed Library, they will send you a lovely catalogue like this out and you can have a look through all of the different varieties that they have available for you to order and then you can choose six to grow next year. So usually in the past, they always did a thing where you could order um, five that you wanted to grow and they would give you a sixth as a lucky dip, which was quite interesting because sometimes I'd get things that I'd never even thought to grow before. But this year they didn't do that. They just allowed you to order six and choose six. So with the seed catalog, it's um, the order, the online ordering um, kind of website opens on the 2nd of December and you can just choose what you want to grow and then go straight online and order it. Or they do have an order form at the very back um, if you just want to put your order in by, um, you know, a written order in. But when you do the written order, it obviously takes a little bit longer for that to go in the post and be processed. And in which time other people may already be ordering the ones you want and then they go out of stock and you're not going to get your first choice. So since it, um, the order, the order um, website opened on Tuesday at 10 a.m., I made sure over the weekend I had a really good look through, I chose what I wanted and on Tuesday as soon as I got back from work at lunchtime I put my order in and I think I was ordered like number 201 or something. So that was um, quite nice to know everything that I had wanted to order was in stock and it's now been dispatched because I had an email today so I'm so excited. And um, if you put your order in already or you're waiting for your kind of packs to come through the post, uh, do leave a comment below. But if your order is in, let me know in the comments below what you have ordered because I'd be really interested to know. Um, it always takes me ages to kind of look through and I write down kind of, you know, one type, um, you know, one list of six that I wanted and then I change it. And yeah, it's just one of those things every year that I just have to do. So it usually has, um, I'm on the tomato page here, so it has quite a few tomatoes in there and usually quite a few um, beans. But apart from that, every, all the other types of varieties usually have kind of like one or two that you can choose from. So um, it starts off like in alphabetical order. So like the first page, you've got a chocker there and then you have um, the um, beetroot, broad beans and, and so on. So this year, my first selection, which is on page um, four, and that is um, paddy, and that is an organic um, organic cabbage. I actually grew this in the 2019 um, seed catalogue. I ordered that and grew it really well. It germinated amazingly well, and um, it, it got quite big, but then unfortunately, they all got eaten by um, cabbage, the cabbage white fly, um, you know, butterfly, and I didn't get harvest whatsoever. So I'm really excited to be growing that again this year. They also had another um, cabbage just here, which is called um, Bradford Bomb Organic, um, which was quite interesting as well. But what I love about Paddy um, is it's, it, what it says here is a very large heirloom variety developed by an unknown Irish allotment holder. 
um, who saved seeds from his largest specimen and shared them with his allotment neighbours. Uh, then it goes on to tell you a little bit about when to sow them and stuff. But I just thought it's it's just, I don't, I don't know, I just love it. Paddy, you know, you get to grow Paddy's cabbage. Um, the next uh, two that I chose were um, Afghan Purple Organic Carrot and John Purple um, Organic. So just these two here. OK, uh, the reason I went for carrots are I'm doing quite well with them in the polytunnel this this winter or this autumn i also had a nice little harvest from my raised bed so carrots is something that we as a family really love um so i thought i'd give those two a go um the reason i just went for um these two carrots rather than this one uh, was because these two kind of purple carrots they had like interesting stories um so with the afghan purple organic it was um given to the seed library by the southern um exposure seed exchange in virginia usa and then the john purple organic was named after our donor who in the 1970s developed a pure line of purple carrots from four he found amongst a bag given to him for his rabbits by an allotment neighbor um and you know it's just like just a lovely little story. Obviously, it goes on to say even more. Um, but yeah, I went for that because I'm hoping to really get on it with carrots next year. And um, the next thing I went for, the fourth choice, was to go for some Cherokee Trail of Tears um, French beans. So climbing French beans here. Um, I've heard a lot about them. I've always been quite interested in the story behind um, the, you know, this variety. And um, I know I think Vivi from what Vivi did next, um, she always grows them every year. They're great for drying. There's a, they are a little black bean and um, perfect for stews and stuff like that. Usually, um, well, last year for sure, I think I ordered like five lots of climbing French beans. So now I've really got quite a big stock of them. Um, so I'm only going to add one to my, um, you know, to my varieties this year. And if you don't know, with a climbing French bean, uh, they don't cross pollinate very easily. So as long as you've got them 10 metres apart, you're pretty sure to um, know that they wouldn't have cross pollinated. So they are the perfect and one of the most easiest things you can save seeds from. So yes, that is um, what I'm growing. With this, you get 10 seeds. Um, with the um, carrots, you get 100. And with the cabbage, it was 50 seeds. But I find usually the first year when I grow them from the Heritage Seed Library, I get a good few meals off them, but then I let them just um, dry out so I can share some seed swaps, but I can also then um, have a really good supply for next year. So hopefully um, I can do the same with those this year. So the fifth thing that I've put on order is the Batten Organic here, which is a kind of type of spring onion. This is the only onion um, onion kind of variety in the seed catalogue this year. I think last year they had one or two others and I thought this year I'm definitely going to give it a go. The reason I've gone for this is because it's a, looking at the description it's a little bit like a Welsh onion or a bunching onion which are kind of they grow a little bit like um, a um, what are they called the, the small onions um, a spring onion <laughs> that's what they're like. Uh, they grow like spring onions, they're quite mild in flavour, but every year, um, you know, they will just form a bigger and bigger clump and you can split the clump up each year. Um, so it's pretty much a perennial. So when these come through the post, I'm definitely going to be starting these off this year um, because, yeah, I'm really interested in getting on with onions next year as well because I think I ran out of onions by early September this year. So definitely... Growing onions from seed is uh, really easy, but really cheap as well. So I'm looking forward to giving those ones a go at growing this year. And then uh, the last thing that I've ordered is called Kelper Gigantic, Gigantic Organic, and that is Swede. I also grew this the very first year that I joined the seed library. And unfortunately, I think um, they all got eaten and I didn't have a harvest from them at all. You get 50 seeds with these as well. And I'm really hopeful that I do get harvest next year. In our family, we absolutely love Swede. And, um, you know, we probably have it at least once a week. So if I can get a good harvest of these, I'll be very excited. 
Um, this just a quick thing about it says originally from Stanley, the Falkland Islands, but passed to the Heritage Sheet Library via Chase Organics, who thought the variety would be of interest to us. Um, it's been grown in Stanley since 1940s, always organically, and it's believed that they were originally supplied by bees seeds. And you know what? My son's called Stanley. So, um, yeah, if I can get a Swede called Stanley, that might um, make him a little bit more interested at dinner time. Um, so that is what I've ordered. Like I said, throughout the catalogue, there's, a, you know, a good amount of, um, you know, a good one or two varieties of each vegetable that you can grow. So it's really worth, um, you know, having a look at this if you haven't grown grown them before what i will do actually as well in this video in the description i will put a link to the seed catalogue because i think you can look at it online if you're not a member so it might be worth giving that a go and having a look um, if you're already a member of the Heritage Seed Library, then let me know what you've ordered because um, I bet you've put your order in as well. Um, so there you go. Uh, sorry it's not been a particularly interesting video where I've gone out and done gardening, but it's just getting really cold out there at the moment. And um, because I work a couple of um, days a week um, in a library and I'm also doing work at home, I'm decorating my living room um, this weekend and early next week. So it's kind of like being able to get out in the garden but do other things at home it's it's quite hard to like you know keep all the plates spinning at the moment but I didn't want to not upload a video today and I really wanted to share with you what I had ordered from the Heritage Seed Library um so there you go that is today's video I hope you've enjoyed it if you're new here and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos please do hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of all of my latest videos as ever, YouTube have some videos up on the screen now that you think you'll like, so please go ahead and watch those, and I will catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!